In this question, we're asked to solve this quadratic equation using completing the square. Now, the first step is to eliminate the constant from the left hand side. In other words, this negative 15. And to do that, I need to add 15. Now, I need to do that to both sides in order to keep the equation balanced. That will leave me with 2x squared plus 8x is equal to 15. The next step is to look at the coefficient of the x squared term, and we need that to be one. So currently we've got two here. So to eliminate that, I need to divide by two. So when I divide this term by two, I need to divide every term by two. The twos will obviously cancel here, leaving me with x squared plus, the eight divided by two would be four, so four x, and that's equal to 15 over two. Now we're on to the completing the square step. So in other words, on the left-hand side, we're going to get something squared is equal to 15 over two plus something squared. Now obviously we have an x in here for the x squared, obviously x squared. And then we look at the coefficient of the x term and that will give us what goes in here. And all we need to do, well, it's a positive term, so we need to add. And then we take that coefficient, the four, and divide it by two. So four divided by two is two. On the right-hand side, we take that coefficient again, so four divided by two, and we square it. So I've got x plus two squared is equal to 15 over two plus, now two squared is four, but I'm going to have to add it to this 15 over two. So that's the equivalent of eight over two. So four is the same as eight over two. So what we've got is x plus two squared is equal to, I can add these fractions together. That is 23 over two. The next thing I need to eliminate is this squared here. And I do that by taking the square root. And if I do it to the left, I must do it to the right to keep it balanced. Now, the one thing you must remember to do is when we take the square root, we will get a positive and a negative answer. Now, the square root on the left and the squared will cancel. So I'm left with x plus 2. That is equal to plus or minus the square root of 23 over 2. And the last thing to do is to eliminate this plus 2 here by subtracting two, and I need to do that to both sides. So the final answer will be x is equal to negative two plus or minus the square root of 23 over two. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.